Hello and welcome back to another easy online German pronunciation training and I'm still continuing to introduce the German vowels and today I will talk about the German O sounds and there is a close mid vowel O and an open mid vowel O And we will start with a long O sound. So it's a very straight O, not O or something like that. We don't have something like that in German. So we're going to start with an example which is written with a normal O letter. And this is the German word for at the top or up. And this is Oben, oben, and in the phonetic script you can see the long O sound expressed by an O letter and a double point, and the double point is the sign which always makes the vowels very long. We can also have words like Kino, which means cinema, for example, which just has a normal O sound, not as long. So in the phonetic script, you just find an O letter. So this O is not as long as if it stands with a double point. Moreover, we have an unstressed E. And this is the sign in the phonetic script which looks like an E turned upside down. It's an uh sound, so it's oben. And the stress is on the first syllable because we have a little tick in front of the first syllable, in front of the O. And this little tick always marks the stressed syllable in a word. In the German language we can also have words written with double O. And as an example I took the German word for stupid or silly in the sense of brainless and in German it is doof. Doof. You can also see the long O sound in the phonetic script expressed by an O letter and a double point. An O in combination with an H is always a long O sound in the German language. And as an example, I took the German word for without, and this is ohne. In the phonetic script you also see the long O sound, O letter and double point, and the unstressed E again, ohne. The stress is on the first syllable in this word too. And generally you can say that this is a vowel where the corners of your mouth are drawn together and the inner surfaces of your mouth or lips are exposed or protruded. If I say O, you can see very well that the corners of my mouth are drawn together and the inner surfaces of my lips are exposed. Oh, and it is very important that it is a straight O oh, and not an O oh or something like that. This protrudedness 
is also concerning the next vowel, which I'm going to explain. The open O sound, and this is the O sound. Your lips are also protruded and the corners of your mouth are drawn together too, but this sound is a little more open, so you open your mouth a little more and just compare. O, 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 O. I think you can see this very well. And in the German language, this O sound is always short. And I couldn't find an example where we have a long O sound. In the English language, there are examples for a long O sound, like in morning, for example. But in the German language, it's always a short sound. And I also have an example which comes next. And this is the German word for Wednesday. And in German we say Mittwoch. Mittwoch. And you could hear very well that we have a short O sound. Mittwoch. We also have a special sign in the phonetic script, not a normal O letter, but a sign which is in fact an open O at the left side at least. Moreover we have a hard CH sound at the end of this word and if you still have problems just watch my video. I created a special training for this sound. And in the phonetic script you use an X to express this H sound. We also have a short E sound. Mittwoch. There's also a special sign for this vowel. And the stress is on the first syllable again. As you can see, we have the little tick in front of the M. I also have a second example. And this is the word for to hope. And the German infinitive is hoffen. Hoffen. Short or sound again, and you can also see that in the phonetic script. We also have an unstressed e in the last syllable, hoffen, an e sound, but most of the time the Germans don't even pronounce this sound, they say hoffen. And it's important that you pronounce the H at the beginning. In some languages you don't pronounce the H, as in French or Spanish for example, but in German you do, at least at the beginning. So it's hoffen. The stress is on the first syllable again. And you can say that we have a short O sound or O sound when we have more than one consonant following the vowel or following the O letter. Okay, this was all for today and I hope it was useful to improve your pronunciation. If so, it would be nice to leave a comment here on my channel or to subscribe to my channel. 
And if there's something you would like to learn, then you can always contact me and make some suggestions. So for today, I say bye-bye. Take care and I hope to see you next time when I will talk about the German vowel U. So now I say bye-bye or as we say in German, tschüss.